Now we are doing exercise 4.2, question number one, Roman number five. Roman number five, we have x plus y equal to zero. Solution, x plus y equal to zero, so x is equal to y, you transfer this side. So it will be zero minus y, zero minus y, it is minus y. Right, x is equal to minus y. Now, if I draw a table, draw tabulation, this is x, this is y, 1, 2. So, when x is equal to minus y, when x is 0, minus y will also be 0, or you can say like, so, if y is equal to 0, then x will be minus 0, which will be 0. So, x y is 0, x also 0. When y is equal to 1, x will be minus of 1. So, when y is 1, x of minus of 1. When y is 2, x will be minus of 2. When y is 2, x will be minus of 2. Okay, like this. Or you can draw more line, more points even. Okay, 3 is enough. But if you want, you can draw more. That is when y is, let's say, minus 1. Then x will be minus y, right? So minus y is minus 1. Minus into minus plus, so it will be 1. So ay is minus 1, x will be 1. When y is minus 2, x will be 2. Like this. Okay, so let me put a represent. Let no need to write all these things. You can you have to when, while calculating, you just calculate at the side of your paper. Okay, don't calculate in the middle like me. Okay, so don't do that because here I can rough, but you cannot rough, right? So now x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So let me this is x, this is x, this, this is y, and here it is y, this. So when x is equal to 0, y also 0. So when x is 0 and y is 0. When x is minus 1, x is minus 1, y is 1. So x is minus 1, y is 1. So this is the point. x is 1, y is 1. So minus 1, 1. When x is minus 2, x is minus 2, y is 2. When x is minus 2, y is 2. And next, when x is 1, when x is 1, so x1, it is here, and y is minus 1. So x is 1 and y is minus 1. So this is the point 1 minus 1. And for x2, x is 2 here, x is 2 here, right? And y is minus 2, minus 2 here, Mi 2, 2, minus 2 here. So these two points are going to meet straight here, and this is the point. So let me draw this one. Okay, so here is our point. So join all these lines. So this is your line for yeah A B. So this is a line. Please use the scale and draw properly. X plus Y equal to zero. Okay, for this line. So that's all. Okay, this is how you are going to draw the graph. Let us do the next one. That is row number six. Roman number 6, we have x minus y equal to 0. Solution. x minus y equal to 0. So, x is equal to y will come this side. So, 0 plus y. 0 plus y, it will be y. Right? So, x is equal to y. This is, let us draw that graph for this one. Okay, now this is x, this is y, 1, 2, 3, okay? So, when x is 1, y also 1, when x is 2, y also 2, when x is 3, y also 3, when x is 4, y also 4. So, whatever the x, same thing with y, it's simple, right? So x and y are equal, so if you put 1, then you have to put y, y also 1. Simple, x, and this is for x, this, this is y, and this is for y yes when x is 1 y also 1 so when x is 1 y is also 1 so this is the point 1 1 when x is 2 y also 2 so this is the point x and y are equal so 2 2 when x is 3 y also 3 so 3 3 let us take some negative number also you can let us take more okay so let us take more 
you can take only three that's sufficient okay for drawing a graph it is quite sufficient but let us take x equal to minus three y also it will be minus three if you take minus four it will be minus four so like this so if x is minus three y also minus three so minus three minus three this is the point x is minus four y also minus four so this is the point so join all these points so minus three minus three minus four minus four and join all this line right passing through a point and it is like this and this is the line this is the line for the equation x minus y equal to zero okay and this is a b that's all okay this is how you got to draw a graph any doubt you can write down in the comment below let us do the next question next question is from number seven which is x plus three y equal to zero solution x is equal to 3y will come this side so 0 minus 3y is equal to 0 minus 3y it is minus 3y draw a graph okay do a table okay not a graph okay this is a table draw properly don't do like me okay this is too rough already for me okay now this is x this is y and x is when x is Okay, let's say y is equal to 1, then x will be minus 3 into 1, which will be minus 3. Instead of y, we are putting minus, we are putting 1. So minus 3 into 1, it is minus 3. When x, y is 1, x is minus 3. When y is equal to 2, x will be equal to minus 3 into 2. Minus 3 into 2, minus 6. X, y is equal to 2, x is minus 6. When y is equal to, let us take minus 1 x will be equal to minus 3 into minus 1 minus into minus plus 303 so when y is minus 1 x is 3 let's say y is equal to minus 3 okay minus 2 let's say so then x will be equal to minus 3 into 2 minus 2 so minus into minus plus so 3 to the 6 so when y is equal to minus 2 x is 6 any number you can put okay it depends upon you oh, and you can try with any number i'm just trying with all these numbers okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you take different number even okay so now let me draft all these things and let me draw the graph okay now for x it is minus 3 so let me write down x here and this is x yes and this is y here and this is negative of y so x is minus 3 so in x minus 3 is here right in x it is minus 3 y it is 1 so y1 is here in y you first search for 1 so y1 is here right so y1 and x3 so they are going to be perpendicular and they're going to meet like this right so this is the point so this point is for minus 3 and 1 next minus 6 in x it is minus 6 so this is the point and y is equal to 2 so y is equal to 2 so 2 is here so minus 6 comma 2 all right and let us search 3 minus 1 so for x it is 3 and for y it is minus 1 here so it is 3 minus 1 and what next 6 and minus 2 so 6 no need to draw all these things yeah for 6 x is 6 y is minus 2 so it is here x is 6 here y is minus 2 here and both this point they are going to meet like straight like this and they're going to meet here okay so this is for 6 minus 2 now draw all this line join all these lines so uh-huh And this is a b and this is x plus 3y equal to 0 and that's all i hope you understood you can take any number and try anything 
provided your calculation is correct you are going to get the right answer that's all thanks so much we will meet in the next video